Hi everyone, in this video, uh, I'll talk about real-time apply. So, what normally DataGuard environment, what it does? So, log apply services can automatically apply information from redo logs to standby database to keep synchronized my standby database with the primary database. Then what happened after that? Redo data received by RFS process, which is remote file server process, to this side of database, turn by side. So RFS processes writes the redo data to either archive redo log files or optionally to the standby redo log files. So when we use like real-time apply, it ultimately use standby redo log files. So what it does, it allows data guard to recover redo data from the standby redo logs. So when it's filled by the RFS process, then this MRP process use that standby redo log files which is known as real-time apply it was not default before 12c 12c onwards it's default so let's now go through lab so let me connect to my uh, devops server is my primary database server and oel75 is my physical standby database server so let's connect to the stand by side to validate that one if I go here you will see that by default it's showing me here that it's a real-time apply so now what can happen like if there if there are multiple physically standby database and we would like to set up delay parameters for our business purpose in that case if real-time apply is enabled then the delay parameter will be ignored so in that case what we need to know we need to do we need to disable that real-time apply functionality so for that what we have to do we have to disable real-time apply to disable the real-time apply first we have to cancel the apply process to cancel the process just And then we are going to apply, start apply process using archived log file. So this is not a standby log file, it is a log file. So now if I check. the status you will see now it's giving me manage standby not real time apply so i have disable the real time apply process so that way i can set that up delay parameter now if i would like to start that process like enable real time apply process so what i have to do i have to again just stop the redo apply process and after that we start the process by default we do not need to uh, define that one because it's eastern by redo log file so if i just type eastern by database disconnect it will use that one that means eastern by redo log files 
and if we check again we'll see that it's real time apply which is default so if any case if we would like to go for um, some physical system by database to set up delay parameter we have to disable this real time apply So now uh, I'll talk about active data guard. So first thing active data guard to use that one additional license is required. So put a note that one. So what is active data guard? Active data guard is a option for physical standby database so that when physically system by database in place if we change it to real time query and enable that one so we can read or get the database information from the physical system by database for disaster recovery and we can also offload work so for example reporting job we can run from the physical system by database instead of primary database there are other benefits like we can do um, incremental backup so let's let's go through um, in lab session to get more idea so we are going to enable the real time query so first thing first we need to uh, stop the video apply after that we need to open the database into read only mode and we are going to restart video apply with real time which is default now. So now if we check the um, what I said the role database role let's see what information is there so So here is the read only with apply. So that means that read logs which are transferring to the physical listener by side, it is also apply. So we are getting the live database report and we can run that from physical listener by database. So here we see that if we run the same command again, that is the read only with apply which ultimately verify that active data guard is enabled so oh, the concept of active data guard which is ultimately real time query and it allows read only access on the physical standby database when it also applying archive transaction from the primary side to physical standby side now to disable that one we can just uh, stop the redo apply almost then mount database so i need to shut down first So OEL7 is my physical standby database server.
So now I'm going to start to do apply again. So if I check right now, you will see that it just only mounted. So that read only with apply option means it's active data card and license is required for this one. So here we have learned how to set up or enable active data card using SQL plus. Now I'll go through same task using broker command. We have enabled query last time using SQL plus command. Now I'll go through with data guard broker command. So let's connect to the data guard broker environment. Check configuration. So let's check this physical stomach database, show database. So you see that here real time query is off. So now we are going to enable real time query or active data guard. So for that, what we have to do mm, first mm, stop the apply process. So edit database. Set. Oh. Two, which is apply on I'm going to put that apply off first so stop to the applying and then I'm going to make it read only so you can execute SQL command so, alter database then read only so when that is done I am going to start applying So now if I see this database, physical instrument database, I can see that real-time query is enabled. So if I would like to disable this one, what I have to do, so I have to mount that again and then start to apply. So for that, shut down immediate. startup mount oh, I did not apply from apply process here let's see I may get some error message now mm, let me apply of and apply on I could do this before and then run this to common but anyway I did not stop video mm, apply so I'm running that one, just apply off to make sure that it's clean.
Yes, I felt I could not be determined, so I need to wait a little bit. Move that to this. So that's good. So um, now you see that real time query is off. So um, we have um, enable active data record and then we stop that real time query um, yeah, using both SQL plus and data card broker common. Um, uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.